Hello everybody. I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to fix the issue with the newest uh, CM11 uh, with it not wanting to connect to some of the LTE networks within the Sprint network. Notice, uh, I know it, this camera doesn't work too well with uh, seeing what's shown here, but there's no symbol next to the bars basically um, when it should say LTE. Now to fix that is actually pretty quick, easy, and simple. We want to open up our settings and then go in more underneath wireless and networks and then we want to select mobile networks and then we want to select make sure that preferred network mode is CDMA plus LTE forward slash EVDO. This is for Sprint LTE. Make sure that's selected. And then you want to go into access point names. And by default, the top one, which is just Sprint, is selected. Notice there's a bunch of other ones here. Now we want to select the LTE internet and notice the second I select it it shows LTE but God, it's real hard to make it out but I've got LTE now and then I had another problem where my hotspot my phone I'd do a speed test and the speeds would be great do the same speed test on my laptop well connected to the mobile hotspot and it'd be not so great it'd be really slow almost worse than dial up almost uh, to fix that uh, I did a little bit of research and uh, all you got to do is go it just click the Sprint LTE internet uh, name and it'll pop up the edit access point and then you just scroll down till you see the APN protocol and by default it's set to IPv4 forward slash IPv6 change it to just IPv4 uh, I went ahead and did the same with the roaming and then menu save and then it'll reconnect eventually there it goes go ahead and enable our hotspot now I'm going to go ahead and show you the speed test on the phone right quick give you a good idea how well it's working I mean it's not super but it's not bad eight nine ten megabits per second it's not too shabby All right. so as you can see the phone has a good LTE connection. Yep. 9.38 and 7.15. Now, if we go to a laptop and do the same speed test. It should be close to the same. Uh, it's 
a little bit less, but it's still a lot better than it was before I changed those settings. So, the speeds on the laptop are not half bad. They're actually alright. Okay. Well, I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments.